I boom let's get ready today these are a few items that I'm gonna be using um I have to be out and about and so gotta do this quick but I definitely wanted to use the benefit cosmetics eyebrow products that I had put in my last week's video and I haven't used my coconuts palette from ColourPops in a while so I'm gonna lean on that palette today so I'm just going to start and comb these bad boys in place using my NYX Wonder Pencil. I like to outline the brow. And so I'll start by going under. Doing it above to capture. Oh, did that a little too much. Bring it back. But just going over the eyebrow so that it's all seemingly using the pencil let me tell y'all this pencil and i'm like pressing super lightly i'll go back to what i'm doing at the moment but i was pressing super lightly and the color payoff was chef's kiss okay that's how good it was but any hoosers back to what i was doing so i did the three point alignment from the tail the mid body and aligning it with my eye to get a better fill in shape and then going back in with the product to fill it in combing that out so that's basically what i was doing in the beginning of your eye i literally line it up with where my eye begins not where the eyebrow begins but where my eye begins so as a way of helping i was looking at the stencil that i've gotten from anastasia and i saw that three three point mark and so I decided to do it on myself without the stencil, of course. And so ugh, Anastasia be know what she's doing, okay? Because that helped me. So this was a pomade. And for some reason, I swore it was a gel. But reading's fundamental, kids, because it wasn't. But again, color payoff. I now know why it costs all of the 20 some odd dollars that it costs. Because this, this right here is good, okay? Good with a T at the end. Good. That's how good it was. Like... Again, lightly tapping on when it comes to filling in the brow. Like, the color payoff was amazing. So, next I'm going to clean up the brow using my NYX Concealer Jar Pot. And just getting right up under it. And, of course, I always push it into the eyelid so that it can also cover up, not just concealer, but use it as a prime primer base. But that's that's all I normally do. I line it up. I go right up under the brow. Make sure I, I clean all that up. And I go over it to give it the perfect clean shape. At the little shimmy. Because, you know, it deserves to have a little shimmy. And then, of course, that little piquito part of it was, like, bothering me. So I just kind of went to go clean it up. Okay. You see that brow coming alive? And then we're just going to redo it on the other side, you know. Brows are supposed to be primas, not in mana. So every time we all got one brow that be giving us a little, you know, a little bit of a extra work. And then one brow that just does it, does what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. So here I am just pretty much replicating all of it again. And using that gel from Benefit Cosmetics, excuse me, not that gel, that pomade, beautiful. Just, oh my God, it's so good. Like, I'm so excited I, I was finally able to grab that for myself. Next, we're going to clean this eyebrow up as well, like we did the last one. And just doing the above and the under technique. I really, really love this um, this brush that I got. I believe this is a BH Cosmetics brush. The bee's knees. Next, I'm just putting on a little bit more concealer. And then we're going to go in with this palette. So we're going with the color Culotta as like that transition with my fluffy brush. This one is, I believe it's the Bare Minimums one bare minerals not minimum oh that sounds so horrible they get bare minimum brush my bad bare oh my gosh i can't even remember anywho it's from them <laughs> i've had it for a while loved it this little cheapy cheapy brush i don't even remember when i got it honestly but it does what it needs to do and i'm going in and just doing that highlighter um shade 
to give myself a good space between that transition and the brow. And next I'm going in with the color Nutty um, and just aligning a V shape to my eye with that darker color and just packing it in and flicking it out and just getting in there as much as I possibly can and keeping that V shape. Um, it helps me out to this is just kind of like more of a natural curvature of my eye so that helps me going back with that culotta shade um, just don't want it to kind of look like just one seeming look I want some break breakup of the colors so wanted to make sure that that transition shade was properly represented and then next I'm using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills eye primer and I meant to do a little bit but once I got in there it was all over so I was like you know what of course when you need to have everything rapido rapido things need to work so that's how it was as once it's dried we're gonna go right back in with that culotta shade and buff it out make sure we haven't lost the shape and then using my morphe brush from the sweetie collab trying to give it back as you can see right there it tends to like fall for me like where it's supposed to be a v it kind of comes over like a hump and that really bothers me because then it looks like i don't have symmetry i don't know what i was dancing to because there was no music present but i was dancing to the music in my heart y'all so next i am going in with that shimmering shade in the palette right in the middle and that payoff is really really good i thought it was going to be like very glittery cumberly but it's really well packed in and so i was able to just kind of like tap it on also like kudos to the primer doing its priming job because i don't think if it was just regular shot like if it was just regular skin and concealer that would probably be the payoff for me and just buffing everything out and filling everything in this one i feel like i probably went a little too high with the shimmer it's gonna cost me later i have to fix it off camera but there we go again with my little shimmy so this i wanted to do in real time so i literally saw how long it took me to do this it was a minute and 39 seconds so i start with doing the base of my eyeliner with like a little triangle i go above and under and I try to get as close to my line lash line as possible because sometimes eyeliner like this can skip and you can like have those like little pockets of non-color and that shit is annoying so I literally am concentrating with all of my like body and being to not f this up guys like i don't even think i was like breathing fully like please don't f this up specifically because i really didn't want like a big wing i wanted it to be um as thin as i possibly can make it like a little thick but slim thick that's what i wanted i wanted a slim thick liner i didn't want like a bougie big thick liner because i wanted this eyeshadow to come through and so the concentration was on a thousand and ten bruh like legit concentrating hard as hell and it took me a full minute and 39 seconds to be exact to get this liner together and just filling it in going back making sure all the pockets were full with color next i'm going in with my man eater mascara from tarte it's the bee's knees for me I wonder if bees have knees. Like, where did that come from? Anyway, um, putting lash, not excuse me, not lashes, but mascara on my bottom lash because they are puny and need the lift, you know, they, that they need what the mascara does to make them look like they there. And here we go again. We're going to clean up that space right here up under our eye and give it a more like a definitely more precise um look i don't know why i couldn't find where i had put my um 
my eyeshadow tape so I had a free handed because again I had to go out in the world and be an adult and I only had but so much time um so I had to rely on me myself and I and the makeup gods here I'm using the NYX pore filler um primer specifically on the cheeks the nose I'm not going to concentrate it on my forehead because I'm going to use a powder that I found within my things. Guys, clean your makeup stuff. I got gems in there that I have not even, like, opened. It's it's really a problem. But any hoot, it is what it is, and I do what I do. So I am just tapping that into the skin using this brightener stick from Tula. Love this. Love it. And tap that in. Next, this concealer is from Tarte as well. It's the Creaseless Concealer. And I am just simply putting it up under, what is that? My eye, <laughs> on the bridge of my nose, around my mouth, and up under my cheek a little bit to highlight and give it some depth and working this on my forehead i gotta do better on that little sticky line thing john look crazy anywho that's what happens when you're rushing and trying to be precise it isn't gonna be here i am playing with some transitions which i gotta do better anywho that's what happens when you try to try to do new things when you know you're rushing you look crazy and I'm also trying to do multiple things for multiple social media things. So that's what happens when your TikToks, your Reels, your Instagram, your Facebooks, your YouTube don't do the same thing. You got to do what you got to do for all of them. Follow me on them, y'all. Wednesday's going well, man, on all of them. Use, oh, I'm, this sponge I'm using, it's from the ColourPop um collection that I did in one of my other videos I took this one specifically because of the flat top that it has when it comes again trying to do transitions girl do your face you got things to do anywho using my it cosmetics confidence in a bottle tan natural foundation trying to get it together And I normally run cold water on my sponges. I don't know why I feel like cold water is better. But that's what I do. I don't like doing hot water on my sponges. I do cold. That's just me. I don't have like the science behind it. Like for me it just works. So you know to each his own. But that's that's the bee's knees for me. Again do bees have knees. I gotta look that up one day. And I'm just like massaging that in tapping that into the skin trying not to spread the product but actually like get the product in to where i needed to get to next i am using this coconut setting powder powder from i think it's is it siat cat cat it's the product is called c-i-a-t-e with some apostrophes on the letter so Anyway, it's everyday vac it's from their everyday vacay collection. Um, it smells like coconuts. It smells really, really good. Um it it smells so good. But here I am putting it up under my cheek, under my eye, definitely on my forehead where I can get pretty sweaty and um oily and on my chin. Next, I am using the NYX Matte um, Bronzer. I love this little brush for, um, for contour. I made a mistake while doing my contour. One of my cheeks is much lifted from the other, as I can see it from here. And I'm going to have to fix that. But so far, I don't think I've caught it yet. Here it goes. You can see how like lopsided that looks. But contour is supposed to lift, not droop you. So I need to fix it. But I shimmied on. I shimmied on. So using this Morphe brush, um, I am not even like sweeping off, but like massaging it into the skin. 
to keep that property of like keeping it seemingly keeping it matted because I can get pretty pretty oily very quickly I also be sweating while I be doing my makeup child I'm an old woman just be happening but just in circular motions and again I have not realized that this drawing look crazy because one's like super up and one's down. I'm just buffering and contouring that into the cheek the proper way. I guess we can do it as a do and a don't. Here we go. The proper way, just buffering that into the cheek, keeping that above it. And then from the crown, just working that on into the forehead to give that warmth doing the same for the nose and sweeping it sideways into the skin and right there on the tip of the nose and then doing the same on the other side I in real time has still not decided that this is just not the way to be and I am just trying to figure this out and work it in I think it dawned on me like, oh girl, what is we doing, baby? So, I am going to go back in with my Morphe brush. There we go, figuring it out like, nah, this can't be. So, I'm going to just kind of like buffer that out. With using also foundation. And then I'm going to go back in with my powder. Go back in there, kind of like a erase no trace situation because that's just what's going to give my face such an uneven, unbalanced, all types of stuff. And then work back that powder in. And then we're going to redo this and we're going to retry. There we go, get that measurement right. There we go. Now this makes sense. Now this looks normal. Symmetry is important, guys. I didn't think it was when I was in school trying to learn math or whatnot. But that's geometry. Anyway, that's not the point. Looks 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 high. Looks high. So I wanted more of like a mauve color for my blush so I got my Alamal palette and just pressing that in to the skin up into the temple I'm gonna use their like lighter orangey peach color more on the body of the cheek to give it some contrast but y'all y'all gotta y'all gotta get into some blush like I need you to stop being afraid of blush like blush can elevate the look it can just snatch snatch the face like give your cheeks some decoration put some on the tip of my nose and again love this real technique brush it's it's awesome i love it so in doing my foundation it got over my lips and my lips can get really cruddy like that so i just took some of the pond's um makeup balm applied it to my lip and used the cotton round to take that off and just kind of worked with that in order to get that off my lip because that was just not not where it was at going back in with the brush that I use for my concealer I really didn't like dip it in any more concealer um the the brush had already enough product on it but it was more so to align what I had um taken off using this Milani it's a sleeping lip mask but I just use it as a bomb it's thick enough I like it so I use it throughout the day using my setting spray from that same brand i think it's kiat london siat london i don't know it's that brand and so to kind of like have a cohesive look i'm going to be using this like pearlescent color from becca cosmetics this 
um, highlighters crumbled and broken up. I don't know why their highlighters are so soft. Like, you can, like, hold them just a little too hard and they, like, completely break. But I refuse to throw it away. It's so pretty. And it gives you, like, this nice little opulent look. It's like a nice subtle highlight. Like it's there, but it's not super there because it doesn't have those golden tones. It has more of that like silvery shimmer. Going in with my dark brown liner from NYX. And just fixing up and going into the natural curvature of your lip. And pulling that in. Especially because this specific lipstick that I'm going to be using, it's just really nude. Um, and so I didn't want it to just have a washout. And a way you can do that and offset that is with a nice brown liner. This one is from Juvia's Place. It's called Mademoiselle. If you want to feel a little fancy, a little, you know, a little French, you know. You want to feel like you at Patty. I don't want to be called a lady, but you want to be called a mademoiselle. You know, you put this lipstick on and, you know, pucker up and, and, and bonjour. But definitely, I like how that lipstick is made. It just fit really, really perfectly on my lip, like as far as like guiding it. Just going back in with the lip liner to go... Um, darken it up a little bit because again I don't want to wash out specifically using my pencil I mean excuse me not my pencil my brush and cleaning all of that up 